Bronco and Friends, Mission Possible, by Tim Tebow with A.J. Gregory, illustrated by Jane Chapman. Bronco and Friends, Mission Possible, by Tim Tebow with A.J. Gregory, illustrated by Jane Chapman. <sighs> Bronco stretched out under the warm sun. It was always fun to hang out with old friends, even though they weren't the best at sharing their treats. Chunk beamed with pride. Look what I made! My favorite, Paris howled. It's cake, Kobe barked, spilling the secret. Made with honey! Save some for me, Bronco yelped. The pooches gobbled up the scrumptious honey cake, but their feast was cut short by some unwelcome visitors. Stop! Don't eat that, Kobe yelled at Paris. Help! Get them off me, Chunk cried. They make me itch like crazy. Quick, run for cover, Bronco bellowed, diving into the bushes. He cowered and covered his eyes as something flew straight toward him. No! To Bronco's horror, a bee touched down right on his tail. Go away, he yelped. Flexing her deepest muscles, the bee hummed, Help me! But Bronco was too scared to listen. He sped away through the trail between the trees, down the hill and way out into the farmer's field. Crash! Achoo! Alexis groaned, then struggled to her feet and shook herself. What just happened? Bronco whimpered, panting wildly. I'm scared of bees, and I can't get this thing off me. Unexpectedly, the bee released her grip and started zigzagging around Bronco's face. Alexis scrunched her forehead and leaned in closer. I think it's trying to tell us something. Oh? Bronco peered at the bee. I need your help, the bee bumbled. My name is Phoebe. My family and I were stolen from the beekeeper who loves us and cares for us. I was the only bee to escape. Will you help me find my family? Why would I help a bunch of bees I don't even know? Bronco thought. They never done anything for me. Please, Phoebe begged. I don't know what else to do. Suddenly, Bronco remembered a poem his mother used to read to him. We will... We all will have choices, some great and some small, to help someone who can't help us at all. And we must decide to sit or stand tall. Will you turn away or say yes to the call? Bronco knew what he needed to do. Of course we'll help you, Phoebe. But we're going to need a bigger team for the job. Bronco whistled so loudly the trees shook. Chelsea pounced over the hill with Ethan perched on her ear. Hello, friends! Bronco revealed the bee rescue mission to Chelsea and Ethan. They were eager to help. What's the last thing you remember? Chelsea asked Phoebe. Splashing, buzzed the bee, like someone was walking through water. The stream, shouted Ethan. I saw it when I was hopping along the branches on a tree down there. The five friends raced toward the ravine. Which way do we go? Bronco wondered. He sniffed around. Left, he shouted, and took off along the southern edge. Paws and hooves raced through the woods as Phoebe whirred her wings against the wind. I think we're close, Phoebe buzzed. I can smell my cousins. Suddenly, Ethan tugged on Chelsea's ear. What's the matter, Ethan? Ethan clenched Chelsea's fur with a mighty grip. I think, I think I hear a lawnmower. Phoebe froze in flight. I don't like those things. Achoo! Alexis rubbed her eyes. I'll check it out, Bronco offered. The brave pup disappeared into the clump of bushes. Soon after, his friends heard loud barking. It's not a lawnmower. It's the bees. I found them. Phew, buzzed Phoebe. The friends hurtled after Bronco's voice. There's the hive, Phoebe cried. Phoebe swooped down to the entrance of the bee box. We're here to rescue you! 
A chorus of wild buzzing exploded. Bronco and friends looked at one another in confusion. They won't leave without the queen, Phoebe explained, but she's too afraid. The furry friends leapt into the back of the truck. Alexis peered into the hole. Miss Queen, we're here to help you. You're not safe here. The queen bee trembled. But what if we don't make it? We believe in you, Bronco barked. Chelsea smiled encouragingly. Your family is counting on you to lead them home. You have work to do, Miss Queen, Ethan chirped, and you can't do it here. Bronco's ears twitched. Hurry, I think someone's coming. Miss Queen took a deep breath. Okay, I can do this. She revved up her wings and commanded the colony, Move out! A buzzing cloud of yellow and black swarmed out of the box. Follow us, Phoebe instructed. Run, yelled Bronco. As the friends approached the ravine, they stopped to catch their breath. Thank you for saving us, Miss Queen exclaimed. We can find our way back home from here. It takes a team to make a mission work, Bronco barked proudly. Woof, woof, woof! Chunk, Kobe, and Paris pounced onto the path. Bronco, where have you been? Bronco and his friends slept well that night. They had found the courage to do what was right, not what was easy. And the bees? Well, they had their own missions to complete. It might be easier to do nothing at all, but God has asked you to answer the call. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Philippians 2.4